guys, so today is going to be a how-to video on how to make your own personal set of clip-on earrings. And in my case, uh, they were just old earrings that I had that were kind of heavy. I believe I got these pair from Forever 21. And I didn't wear them for like the first three months because after I bought them, I was like, wow, these are kind of heavy. So I didn't even take them off of the little packaging thing that they came on. So, um... I was always like, okay, I'm going to make these into clip-ons. I never did it. I just bared with it. Finally, I started wearing them. And now I'm making them into clip-on earrings. So, um, again, these are these are costume jewelry, so they're going to fade. So if you do decide to get, or if you already have a pair that you're scared to wear because they are heavy, I would suggest that you will go ahead and put on a clear set of nail polish, a top coat, whatever, to cover it from tarnishing because like I started wearing them and they started turning green but I mean you won't see this when you have them on because this is the the one facing your ear when you put them on so you won't even be able to see that but just as a personal preference if you don't like to see your ear jewelry tarnish and their costume jewelry that's a tip you can go ahead and just put on a clear set of nail polish and you'll be all set to go when you watch my video you'll see uh, that I'm using a set of pliers um, I got those from Joann's because I got me a whole like set full of things where I can like personally make my own jewelry because that's always been a passion of mine to make jewelry and I was always tired of my jewelry breaking and I would have to go buy another one so I just went ahead and bought a set of pliers so that way I can fix my own jewelry or you know make my own. So this is just like a quick tip of what you can do. Again I'll try to do another video on how you can make your own earrings from scratch. But again, this was just because these earrings were like really heavy and I thought it would be a cute like how-to tutorial on how you can make your own personal clip-on earrings um, and convert them into clip-ons. So again, I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions, you know what to do. Talk to you guys later. Okay, so um, these are the earrings that I'm going to be working with. I told you already I got these from Forever 21 and you can kind of see where the tarnishing um, is starting. So... I've already started on the other ear, if you can see that I bended on one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start on the first set of earrings. I'm using the Eleni's uh, Jewelet. You can get a pack of these at Michael's, Joann's, Walmart, practically anywhere. Um, now you can use super glue. I just chose to use this because it was the set that I got. Um, and these are the pliers that I'm using. These have a smooth finish on the end. Not quite sure what these specifically are called besides pliers. I know they have a specific name, but um, just try to get one identical to mine because you're going to see that um, they help a lot. And um, yeah. <laughs> So this is the class. Um, again, I got these from Joann's. This whole set that I have is from Joann's. So you can get them anywhere. Um, you can choose to leave them open or closed when you're placing these onto the earrings or the backing of the earring. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start to take off. And this is why I'm using this specific pliers because you want a smooth finish on the end of on the back of the earring, so it doesn't scratch or rub you the wrong way. So, just try to do it, take off as much as you possibly can while still trying to create a smooth surface. And I'm going to go ahead and get the Juliet um, glue. And I, I'm going ahead and place it on the backing of the clasp. And then try to position it. I would usually put it right on top of it, but because I want it on a smooth surface and because I'm working with this type of glue, I'm just going to put it on the opposite side. Again, no one's got to see this side. And I'm just going to smooth it over and make sure that it's it's evenly distributed um, across the clasp of the earring. And then I'm going to go ahead and let it sit. And it's going to move around. It's still wet. So just position it the way you want it to and then go ahead and place it down. And that's all. And you can choose to blow on it or just let it sit. I'm just going to let it sit. And I'm going to do this one more time so you can see um, exactly how I did it, just in case you missed it the first time. <laughs> I'm going to 
going to go ahead and choose to keep my clasp open and um, you're going to see that this one's going to dry a little bit faster than the other one. Quite frankly, it's a circle, so it really doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to hang the same way um, as it would if I were to put it on the other side of where I'm putting it. sit for a couple of hours maybe three hours max and that's kind of pushing it because I mean it's going to be dry before three hours I just like to make sure all my stuff is really glued down and in place so I'll see you guys then so guys um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial um, hopefully it was informative and you've learned something new or something you probably know you can do yourself um, what I did I let it sit for I let it sit more than it should have sit, but I was at school, so I, I was like, whatever, let it dry a little bit more. Um, so it's so about five, six hours. It, it dried. Um, I came home, and it was already done. Um, what I will say is I think it is better for you to open the clasp and let it dry because I noticed that this one was drying a little bit faster than this one. Um, so this is a close-up of how it looks as a clip-on. And I really do think clip-ons make a statement. Um, every time I wear clip-on earrings, I always get compliments. I actually have a bowl dedicated to clip-on earrings. Um, so, like, I got these from, like, the thrift store um, a while ago. And I have another pair um, that I'm taking with me um, that I always get comments on. It's the black and gold ones. I'll try to insert a picture. get comments every time I go to the mart or when I go to the mall or anywhere I get compliments on my earrings and that's a conversation starter um, I love these pink ones as well and they're clip-ons so I just like finding stuff like that that's like one of the main things that's the whole reason why I go through shopping mostly is because I like to get inspired by the pieces that I do find and convert some pieces that I find in the store and make them into clip-on earrings so I hope you like this tutorial again um, Check out my fashion blog for more pictures of the day and how I incorporate these earrings into my outfits. See you later, guys.